Hello, everyone, and, and welcome to our vlog on the IBM Architecture Center and the IBM Garage Method. My name is Michael Ryan. I'm an IBM Distinguished Engineer in our SAP practice, and I would like my colleague, Brazil, to introduce himself. Brazil, over to you. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Antonio Brasil. Everyone calls me Brasil. You can call me Brasil if one. I, I am a certified architect at IBM, and uh, I use it to work with modernization programs, most related with our modernization programs for our, for banks and other industries. So that's it. All right. All right. Thank you. So we want we want to share a, a few points with you today in our vlog, and I'll share my screen here very quickly. Um, so I was recently going over a problem that I have. Uh, I am an SAP practitioner, and so I'm versed in S4 implementations and helping our clients move to the cloud. So I had some issues around cloud architectures, and I went to my colleague in Brazil and spoke with him a little bit about it, and he pointed me to our architecture center, which is an external facing site, which is has a lot of good information. We'll point to that here in a minute. But, but from an enterprise, uh, an ERP perspective with S4, uh, I'm typically focused on the implementations back here in the enterprise network. Um, however, with the way SAP has transformed over the years, they're now going to what we refer to as clean core or fit to standard processes. And then if we want to do innovation, we innovate out into the cloud. So, for instance, we may be, do a connected automobile scenario, or we may do, uh, in Brazil's area of expertise, something with banks or financial services where we have to customize in perhaps a microservice uh, in a container so that we can innovate. And we typically uh, call those in the SAP space cloud extensions. Uh, but we want to make sure that from an end-to-end -end process all the way from the, the end user all the way through the business process that it's seamless and that we have a good architecture set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the architecture center and, and show that real quick at, at the link. And it is uh, actually at this link that I'm showing. And what we'll do is... You can go to that link to see the Cloud Architecture Center. A lot of good information here that's available for all of you. And we're going to focus on one area. So if I click, if I go down to IBM Garage Methodology and click on IBM BM Garage Methodology, it will take you to this site. And what I want to do is turn it over to Brazil to talk a little bit about the methodology and some of the things that he's doing with cloud modernization that'll help my clients on SAP programs but also our set of clients um, doing enterprise transformations. So, so over to you, Brazil, go ahead. For sure. Guys, we, we can under understand Garage Method as a created library of several practices that's applied uh, at IBM and outside IBM that works. We can understand that as a proven practice. And you can check that the culture is in the center of this magic method. What the, we use it to say is that in order to get your system modernized or, or your, your enterprise modernized, it's not only about technology. You have to change your culture. You have to have a, a, a agile culture. And the agile practices are part of the, the, the garage methodology. I was talking with Michael before, talking about the, the challenges that we have when we have to modernize a core system in a, in a bank, for example. And those systems are systems that were, were created 40 years ago, decades ago, right? And, and, and we don't have any people anymore that knows the rules or, or knows how that, thing, that system works in detail. There is another thing that's the pressure that this, this is, these banks and, and enterprises are, are suffering from the markets, right? We have uh, new 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 enterprise that's coming, fintechs and so on, that are pressuring in creating new business models. So they have to respond to that. But the old system that they have 
is slow to, to, to evolve and to respond to this demand. So this is causing a pressure that, that's getting these institutions to modernize their, their, their core system. But how to do that, right? How, how to understand? And this is the thing with the garage method. Here inside, we have a lot of uh, practices related to discovery and envisioning phase that help us to understand what, uh, how, how to understand this current system, how to, uh, how to envision the new system, what we have to do and create to achieve the strategy of this, this, this enterprise, right? How, how can we do that? And, and, and this is all about it, right? So we have this discovery phase, then envisioning, then develop. And inside all of it, we have a, if I remember correctly, it's 144 practices inside it to help us to achieve this, this, this goal, right? And everything that we have here is agile. It's based on the experience and, and, and based on, on a step-by-step -step approach with the principle of no big designer up front. So everything we create IMVP and IMVA associated. For those that doesn't know what is MVA, is the counterpart of MVP. It's a minimal viable architecture. So through MVP MVAs, we build the end stage for, for that client. I don't know if you want to so to to yeah. Yeah, so so thank you. Thank you, Brazil. I, I've just been scrolling through the garage method, and as you can see, there's hyperlinks to everything we do. So what I would encourage um, is go take a look at the garage method. Obviously, uh, my colleague Brazil and I are out here on LinkedIn. We're going to post this to LinkedIn as well. And at any time, you're welcome to contact us. You saw the links. Um, there are IBM practitioners ready and willing to help you understand the methods uh, to help engage if you need anything. So, um, Brazil, before we close, is there anything else that uh, you would like to uh, relate to everyone in the blog or anything you'd like to say? Just, just that thing that's more than, than technology. It's about the future, the way that we organize your team in the way that they are that it will make all the team members and, and, and the structures to pursue the same goal. It's about synchronizing the effort. Yeah, it, it's a great it's a great point. And to the SAP practitioners, what I would tell you is the transformational journey that Brazil just described is as significant as implementing S4. Uh, you truly have to reorganize what you're doing and how you're thinking to be more responsive to the business and the business strategy and with what brazil just described you're you're able to do so so we'll go ahead and close out and if you have any questions we're on linkedin uh we're available we'd be happy to talk with any of you so thank you for your time and and uh goodbye bye bye